A Chicago-based co-op is now working to change the fashion industry one stitch at a time. Blue Tim production is made up solely of women of color, mostly immigrants and refugees. Our Cheryl Scott joining us now with more on the story. And Cheryl, they're also doing their part to help save the environment. Yes, Judy, the owners of Bluetin are not only a model for sustainable manufacturing, they also want to become the industry's example for labor practices worldwide. Originally from Nigeria, Mercy Okoide is a co-owner of Blue Tin Production. It's the first apparel manufacturing workers cooperative run by immigrants, refugees, and women of color in the U.S. When I got that from Blue Tin that they were going to be helping women teaching sewing classes and then, you know, and then you earning money, you are not being exploited, you, you know, you're really making good money, you can take care of your family. I said, so this is it. Their goal is to change the fashion industry by calling for an end to sweatshops, all while promoting promoting sustainability. Thinking about sustainability is not just important within the fashion industry, that's one of the largest contributors to greenhouse gases in the world, and just waste, pollution, etc. Um, but also by virtue of who we are as black and brown women um, living in Chicago, also disproportionately affected by like environmental racism at the city level. The average fast fashion factory creates about 24% of fabric waste. Blue Tin Studio recently came in at 9%, breaking the international record of 10%. But sustainability was already second nature for the co-owners of Blue Tin. They were green from the get-go. If anyone knows anything about black and brown women, we don't throw anything away. Like <laughs> When you're making like the Nigerian clothes, maybe like most of the fabric comes in five yards. Mm -hmm. So they tell you what they want. You got to make that five yards work. By the time you waste it, you don't have more fabric and then you are in trouble with it with uh, the owner of the, the outfit. Now Mercy makes high fashion clothing. Expensive, yes, but she says workers and buyers can benefit. Instead, we're trying to raise our gaze upward, like who is making profit? For Bluetin, it's the skilled and talented women who are profiting. Nobody's standing on your shoulder and telling you you have to make 10, you don't make 10, you don't get paid then this is your business and if your business, you know, you give it 110% and every woman, every of the women here, they are amazing. We come in here, you know, it doesn't feel like work because we're like family. And Judy and Mark, right now, Blue Tin Studio is in the Beverly neighborhood. Their permanent home is still being built. The plan is to eventually move into a green state of the art community facility in Chicago Lawn. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.